every now and then we always hear how test nets are very very important and how people make lots of money from the test nets platforms now of course in this video i'm just going to show you guys basically how to set yourself up the things you need to know before starting up any test nets now let's get right into it Now, of course, we're speaking about test nets and how you guys can make the most from the test nets by preparing yourself and making yourselves ready. Now, the first thing I would say is it's a step by step. Now, you do not expect that the first uh, test net you're going to go into, you're going to make maximum profit or you're going to understand it perfectly. Many a times, test nets are very tricky, very, very difficult because, of course, most of the test nets follow the same pattern. So if you've not done many test nets prior to now, you wouldn't know where to find the tasks. You wouldn't know how to get roles, for example. You wouldn't know how to get more points. If it's a referral base, if it's an activity base, you wouldn't know all of these things. So the first thing I'm going to recommend is you need to have a Twitter account. Now, for example, this is Twitter over here and majority majority of the projects they always come on twitter very very important as simple as it is if you want to be first on any test net if you want to get the news from the horse's mouth you do not want to miss anything at all you need to be on twitter now of course this is my twitter account if you're of course making a twitter account or you already have twitter make sure you give me a follow i will follow you right back right away just probably write something you're from youtube or i saw your video and then i'll follow back immediately now why do you need a twitter account for example as you guys can see the current thread right now in front of me on the screen is from incentive incentive is one of the top test nets that is just starting is also incentivized so meaning we're going to get probably rewards from running this test net and because 17 minutes ago they just posted swaps are now live on the incentive test net so you do not need to wait for anybody to give you any information right away you get the information right from the horse's mouth which is incentive now some of these projects they give incentives for communicating on their site retweeting posting, liking, they give you some rewards and some roles on their Discord channels for doing most of these things. So as you guys can see, this is an incentive. Make sure you turn up all post notifications so anything they post, you're going to get it right away. And also with this, if you're on Twitter, you can also farm referrals using this star because whenever they post something, you can easily write something in the comment section, quote the tweet, just, you know, interact and there you can get probably more followers on Twitter or get much more referrals if the project is referral based. Now, as you guys can see, this is incentive. They just posted something about uh, swaps, which is something I've already, I made a video about incentive, but I'm still going to make a video on how to farm incentives very, very well. So now if you guys also go, for example, to all my post notifications, you can see Phantom is here. POG is also here. I mean, football is where Sue Network, Yeet, everything that is legal, that is official, they are all here. Trust Wallet is, they are all here. Okay. They are all here. All you need to do is follow them, turn on post notifications, and it's easy for you to get all. Now, of course, as you guys can see on my screen, this is absolutely crazy. What is the next thing here that you have to have? It is a must have if you want to farm test nets. You need to have a Discord channel. It is very, very important. Probably not a Discord channel, but a Discord account. As you guys can see, this is my screen. Now, once again, all of the projects, they always work on the Discord channel, at least all legible projects. Even scam projects still also have Discord channels, okay? But most importantly, the Discord channels has to be there. For example, you guys can see I'm following Recall, I'm following Interact Community, Sonic Labs. This is my own personal Web3 server. I bring all of the most important announcements 
from all projects into my own Web3 server. So I do not need to always go into the, the, uh, the projects to find the news. So this is a way of collating all the information. This one, you can do it later, okay? But first of all, you need to follow all of the projects on their Discord. Now, why is this very important? Because this is where you get the roles. This is where you get extra points. As you guys can see, this is currently Somia. And you can see the engage box activity chart is giving people loads of points. Now, all of those points will be very, very important when they have to incentivize the token at the end of the day or when they want to give rewards to people. They will, of course, give much more rewards to people that have higher roles on the Discord channels, much more points. It is very important you have the Discord channel. And also in the Discord channels, you can always find the announcements which is also the most important announcement from this project. For example, I'm going to go again to Incentive, which is also here. We just saw the news on Twitter about the swaps now being live. Let's now go all the way here. Let's see from minor announcement if it's already here. Uh, one second. Yeah, perfect. As you guys can see, 21, 27, just a couple of minutes ago, it says put your test net sent to work swap feature is now live this is also live in the discord channels lots of people have seen it it is just crazy okay and then when you come all the way to chat verse you can see lots of people chatting most of the times when you have an issue instead of waiting for someone probably to make a video or someone to answer you you would always find the answers here now the next thing we're going to talk about is something maybe some of you already know now, the next thing that you guys can see on my screen now, it is Galaxy. Now, Galaxy was usually Galaxy. It is called your Web3 Super app. Now, this is very super. And I'm going to just tell you guys a few things you need to know before you come on board on Galaxy. Now, they don't tell you many of the times when they put Galaxy, there are a few appendages you have to have. You need to have before you can use Galaxy successfully, okay? So, but I'm going to show you guys everything right now. So first of all, Galaxy is, for example, your Web3 super app. Now, many of these projects, many of this testnet, they always reward points via the Galaxy app. For example, I'm going to go all the way home. You guys can see this is my home currently, uh, not my house, not where I'm living, but the home, <laughs> the dashboard. So we're going to go all the way to explore and then following. Let's see if it's going to show me what I just clicked now. Very good. So as you guys can see, this is my dashboard. And for example, you will notice that you can find OG Labs here, Somnia Network here, Recall Network here, Sonium, Nauris Protocol. Now these are some of the projects I have talked about once on this uh on, on my youtube channel now the thing is here you always get tasks some weekly some monthly some every day so you have to keep completing this task every now and then because you get points and through this place you could also get points that will give you roles which will be very very important you know for getting much more rewards when the tge or when the token is coming to the mainnet so Galaxy is very important. Now, there's one thing I want to share with you guys, which is something you have to set up in your Galaxy wallet. Once you come out to your Galaxy Web3 Super app, you need to set it up fully. Connect all of your accounts, all of your social accounts. Make sure you take your time to do these things because, trust me, you will enjoy it at the end of the day. Okay, if you just set it up roughly, a task will come that you will not be able to complete because you have not fully set up your Galaxy uh, Web3 app, okay? So now one thing I'm going to first tell you is that you have to come here. If you guys look over here, I have a Galaxy Plus. Now it says expires on the 2025-04-30. So we're just going to click into that. And then you guys can see this is my clock. I activated my Galaxy Plus. Why have I done this? The, prob the reason I've done this is because when you complete a task, you need to still use cash to claim your rewards. Now, it's not always free, as everybody says every time. So if you do not get your Galaxy Plus, 
you have to always use your Ethereum or your USDC on the base network or Ethereum on the base network to claim your rewards. Okay, there is no auto claim here. It's not like uh, the other projects or the other blockchain. And this is basically why they say Telegram, uh, Telegram airdrops are very easy. Trust me, Telegram airdrops are very, very easy. It is beautiful to do Telegram airdrops. They do not stress you like this, like all this test net, but it is what it is. It is just what it is with this testnet airdrop okay so for example on galaxy you have to get the galaxy plus now but you can do it very cheap and very easy for example i am paying monthly 1.99 usdt that is two dollars monthly to be able to claim rewards to be able to do tasks so if there is an incentivized testnet you're running and they have tasks on galaxy it's a no-brainer. You have to do this because you cannot keep paying every now and then to claim your rewards and your points. So this is very important. You can come all the way to mini. Uh, look, this is Amor plan, premium plan, or limited plan. As you guys can see, the perks, $2 claim free credit, $2 gas fee, free Galaxy scores, uh, no Galaxy passport, Galaxy gold bonus, and so on and so forth, okay? You guys can see all, you can read on this later. Now, the link to do all of these things will be in the description below. So do not worry yourself. I'll put all of the links below so you guys can just sign up, join in, and you know, keep setting yourself up for that testnet project. Now, it is not mandatory that the first ever testnet you're going to do, you're going to get the hang of it directly. You're going to miss some things. You're going to be late to some things. You might not even get it really well but just start slow and steady another thing is also there's so many test nets guys there's over 50 test nets that have huge potential and loads of funding but the key is stay very true to yourself do not do too much it's crazy for example guys look at the discord i showed you all the time i'm running a lot of projects so 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 many sometimes it is crazy it out I would, what's that word? It's crazy stressful sometimes. So if you can just take two, three projects, do them very well, get all of the roles, be active, chat in the Discord channels, good morning, good morning every now and then. You know, not so many projects. Choose a few projects that you love and that you're very early in. That is also a key. Any project you're early in, make the most of this project. So, I mean, now the next things, after talking about, of course, uh, pain and doing all of this thing. The next thing, which is the most important thing, is your wallet. Your MetaMask wallet. Very, very important. Get that MetaMask wallet. There's nothing else I can tell you about this. Just get that MetaMask wallet. Very important. And also, you need your central exchange. Now, this is my own MetaMask wallet, as you guys can see. I'm currently on the base ma uh, mainnet. The good thing is when you're on your MetaMask wallet, it helps you adjust to the project you're going to. For example, if I go to Somnia right now, the MetaMask wallet is going to adjust to it. If I go to OG Network, the MetaMask wallet will adjust to it naturally as soon as I click and I connect it. If I come, of course, to Galze, it goes all the way to Base Mainnet. If I come to Moonvale, which is on the Polygon, uh, Polygon Network, it goes all the way to Polygon. So that is just beautiful. Now, the next thing, okay, after the MetaMask wallet, you know that it's also very important to have that exchange that you are using to fund your MetaMask wallet. So, of course, for example, it's always advisable to have at least 10 USDT either in Ethereum network or on the USDC network, which is just very advisable to have it on your MetaMask wallet. You can always swap bridge on your MetaMask wallet. For example, if I have um, USDC in base, I have five, uh, $5 USDC in base. It's here, $5. I can just bridge it. Uh, let's go to USDC base. I can bridge it to, let's bridge it to, for example, we can bridge it to Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum Network, Polygon. You know, we can bridge it. We can bridge it on the Metaverse wallet. It's very easy. You can change from any chain to any chain you want on the Metaverse wallet. Just make sure for starters, 
you have around the ten dollars on one of this uh, either the USDC base or the Ethereum whatsoever. Okay, and to send the funds to this MetaMask wallet, you copy your address. Once you copy your address, you paste it on the exchange that you want to send money from or the wallet you want to send money from because you always need to have some amount of money on your MetaMask wallet if that is what is connected to your testnet because you can use this every now and then to mint NFTs, to do some tasks, to do some claims, you know, to just do some few few activities so that is very important about your metamask wallet and the exchange that you're going to be using to fund your metamask wallet now the last but not the least is you have to be very flexible you cannot be structured so so structured because many a times a testnet will come and it will follow a total different path so you need to be willing to learn the steps learn the process once again you need to learn how this one is working some tests that might not take your metamask wallet you maybe need to get a well you know a proper another wallet but mostly everyone is on the metamask wallet thankfully so you need to be very flexible you need to be able to be fluid because sometimes the project will ask you do some tasks on interact you know do some tasks on zili for example, if you come all the way here to recall, now this is recall here. It's also a test net, which I'm currently on. And I also made a video of that. I think you guys need to join it right away, right away. Now, of course, as you guys can see, complete tasks on Galse. We already spoke about Galse. Complete task on Zili. Now you have to be flexible to not be worried when you see things like this. You have to do it, okay? Just go through the process and you will get it done. Do not look at the task. Oh, this is so many tasks. I'm not interested in this. I'm not doing this. Once you go through them, bit by bit, you start completing them and it looks very blissful at the end of the day. So guys, I hope with these few words of mine, I have been able to convince you to start looking into test nets and to also start getting yourself ready to farm test nets. Okay, find that testnet you love. Also find testnet that is starting, that it's starting of recent because once you start one that is been starting for a very long time ago, you have really no too much chances of getting huge rewards. But you can use those ones to learn, get the ang, maybe scoop some NFTs, get some street credibility and all of those things. But then you can be relaxed, check those testnets out and keep grinding. Of course, so... Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If you have any questions, put it down in the comment section. I will be waiting to reply, you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.